Hey everybody, this is Will, and today we're gonna continue our video series where we're talking about creating an audio and MIDI redundant rig using gear from iConnectivity. Now, in our previous video, I talked about the power and portability of the Play Audio 12, how simple it is to take a interface that can fit in your backpack and have incredibly powerful redundancy, both with audio and MIDI. Well, today I wanna to talk about how to have even more power by pairing a Mio XM for my connectivity with your Play Audio 12. Now, the first thing I wanna point out is how these are in close proximity to each other and what they're sitting in. So iConnectivity makes this really great rack shelf that's custom built for these interfaces interfaces and made so that these interfaces can sit securely. It's a one U rack space. They can sit right next to each other and all the hardware you need to connect them uh, is included. And you get this really simple uh, little screw to put into the bottom of the interface to tighten those up. And these are going to sit uh, and give you plenty of space. And you've got this extra space in the back here for cables to hang out and be protected. And you don't have to worry about that. So now that we've talked about them being in the rack, let's talk about some of the capabilities that the XM provides when you add it to a Play Audio 12. And then let's make some physical connections and talk about how to connect these two interfaces together. So the Mio XM is all about advanced MIDI capabilities, but giving you the ability to do these advanced things really simply. So taking a look at the interface itself, the first thing you'll notice that's different than the Play Audio 12 are these five pin DIN MIDI ports. So we actually get four of these. On the front panel, we have an in and out five pin DIN port. And then if I flip this over and I'll show you the back side of the Mio XM, you'll see we have additional DIN 2, uh, DIN 3, and then DIN 4, both inputs and outputs. So you can take a five pin DIN MIDI cable, connect it to your keyboards, uh, to connect it to anything that has five pin MIDI and send MIDI in and out through those five pin uh, MIDI ports on the Mio XM. And again, we'll talk about in a second how to connect the XM to the Play Audio 12, but all that MIDI is gonna pass to both of your redundant audio uh, playback machines, which is super great. Again, another reason to pair an XM with a Play Audio 12. Now, another thing I wanna show you why I've got the interface flipped over is these USB MIDI host ports. Now, what's great about that is I can connect up to eight USB MIDI controllers to those ports. So plug in a powered USB hub, uh, connect up to eight USB MIDI controllers, and the MIDI from those are gonna pass to both of your computers. Again, a super powerful, great reason to use a Mio XM with a Play Audio 12. Okay, so let's flip this rack around, and I wanna show you one additional thing on the front panel of the Mio XM, and this is gonna lead us into actually connecting the devices. So here on the front of the Mio XM, you'll notice this RTP MIDI port. Now the Play Audio 12 has one of these as well on the back that gives us four RTP ports, but on the Mio XM, we get up to 12 RTP MIDI ports. So again, we've got 12 RTP MIDI ports. We've got eight USB host port connections. We've got five DIN inputs and outputs. And in addition to that, I forgot to mention, we have the ability to create and store four presets um, on our Mio XM. And we can actually recall those by pressing, uh, clicking on the front panel um, and touching that, or actually sending program change messages from our DAW to change presets. Uh, that includes MIDI routing, maybe turning off routing to a certain keyboard for a specific song. All of that is stored on the XM. Okay, so now I've got my interfaces sitting back on my desk. I've got both interfaces powered up. Uh, my Play Audio 12 is connected to my computer. Let's talk about how to physically connect them to each other. It's super simple. So I'm gonna take a USB cable and I'm gonna connect first to the USB DAW port on my Mio XM. Then I'm gonna take the other end of the cable and connect to the host port on the Play Audio 12. Now it's possible if you saw our previous video where you saw me connect uh, my USB uh, MIDI controller to that host port on the Play Audio 12, you may be watching this and going, but wait, Will, how am I gonna connect the Mio XM to the Play Audio 12 and use my USB MIDI controller? Well, let me show you how I'm gonna do that. Okay, so for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be using my Oakboard Mini as my MIDI controller, uh, and I'm gonna use the play and stop commands. I've already pre-mapped these in Ableton Live, but again, if I'm already using this USB host port on the Play Audio 12, how am I gonna connect this to both of those computers? Well, if we flip the Mio XM over 
again, you'll see those USB MIDI host ports. And so I'm gonna plug my controller into one of those ports. You'll see it powers up and it's ready to go. Okay, so now that I have my USB MIDI controller connected to my Mio XM, let's talk about how I'm gonna use this in my setup. Now, I wanna mention before I started this video, I went into Oracle for X series and I did my USB host port reservation on my Mio XM. And I also did any necessary MIDI routing to make sure I take MIDI from um, this USB host port to this USB DAW computer connection over to Play Audio 12. Now we've got separate videos showing you how to do MIDI routing in uh, Oracle for X series as well as USB host port reservation. We'll make sure to link those in the description of this video. So here's how this is set up in my particular setup. When I press play, it's gonna press play on both of my machines. And when I press stop, it's gonna press stop on both of my machines. So let's try this out. So first I'm gonna uh, double click stop to make sure we reset back to zero. Here's my A machine. Here's my B machine, both running Ableton Live 11. I wanna press play to start playback on, there you again, there you see both my A machine as well as my B machine. And then if I press stop, you'll see that that stopped playback and I can double click there uh, to reset that back to zero. Okay, so with our Mio XM connected to our Play Audio 12, let's put those five pin MIDI ports to work. So I've got a keyboard over my shoulder that uses five pin MIDI, and I have a five pin MIDI cable here. I've already connected the other end of this to my keyboard. Now let's connect this end to our Mio XM, and I'm gonna use just the DIN1 input on the front of the interface here. So now my routing is, this is coming from my keyboard, going through the XM, through this USB cable into the Play Audio 12 host port directly into actually both of my computers. I'm just gonna show you computer A now. So over on Ableton on computer A, I'm gonna go into preferences under link tempo MIDI. I wanna make sure USB 101, I've enabled track here. It looks like that works. Okay, so with my MIDI set up, I'm gonna walk over to my MIDI controller and I'm just gonna play a couple notes. Uh, watch for this channel to show up here as well as watch for my meter to make sure that we're seeing MIDI. So let's try that out now. Okay, so you can see how simple that is to connect anything that's five pin MIDI to a Mio XM and run that through a Play Audio 12 to both of your computers. As a reminder, using the Mio XM paired with the Play Audio 12 gives me redundant five pin MIDI out of Ableton Live. So let's say for example, we need to run and send program changes from Ableton Live to our keyboard that's using five pin DIN MIDI. In this case, I'm gonna plug into the DIN output on my interface. Then I'll go over to Ableton Live and in my MIDI out, I'm gonna set it to MIDI 2 USB 101 because I'm using the DIN 1 port on my device here. And then I can create my MIDI clip. I can add program change information if I want, uh, do anything that I want to. And then clips from that track are gonna go through my Play Audio 12, again, on both of my machines, my A machine and my B machine. And then that's gonna go through my Mio XM to give me redundant five pin MIDI in and out of my DAW. So again, what's great about this setup is I still have the incredibly powerful audio redundancy features from the Play Audio 12, but now I've paired it with the Mio XM to add five pin mini ports up to 12 RTP ports, as well as up to eight USB host port uh, devices. And pairing both of these together, throwing them in this rack from iConnectivity side by side is gonna allow you to create a very, very powerful both audio and MIDI redundant rig in your specific setup. Now, if you have any questions about this setup or how to use these interfaces, particularly uh, in your setup, make sure to reach out to iConnectivity support. You'll find information on how to contact them in the description of this video. Thanks so much for watching this video. We'll see you on the next one. Take care, everybody. Bye.